Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Chad, I got you here, mate. Uh, Chad, thank you. He wants to know what kind of stuff you run in the background on your gaming rig that puts such a heavy strain on your CPU. That is a really good question. So Chad wants to know why does my i9-9900K not cut the mustard at home? Now, to be clear, I am not editing videos at home. I do that here at the office on my 18-core Cascade Lake X. At home, or our Ryzen 9 in the other room, at home, I'm gaming and multitasking on multiple monitors, but I am not editing 4K YouTube videos. However, I do have multiple monitors. I do multitask a lot. I run Backblaze, which backs up all of my uh, files along with my external drives that have a backup of my office files, so there's a lot going on with Backblaze. I have three different G drives syncing. I've got one drive syncing. Um, Synology is backing up my NAS network detached storage from my office to my home to external uh, drives in one of my Mediasonic enclosures. I did a video on those. I have been known to have 50 plus Chrome tabs open. I watch YouTube videos or Twitch streams or other stuff going on while I'm gaming and doing other things. It's not typical, but more than once, I've had more than one game running. Now, let me clarify. I'm playing City Skylines, XCOM 2, The Division 2. My lovely wife comes over and says, would you like to play some World of Warships with me really quickly? Sure, I'd love to. Open it up, launch World of Warships. For those of you who don't know, you can launch two games at the same time. Windows doesn't really care anymore, and games are pretty well behaved. And so I just leave the other game running in the background. I launch World of Warships, and it plays just fine. I don't do that often, but I've done it more than once. And all of that combined can really put a tax on an 8-core CPU. Of course, it also depends on what games you play. Cyberpunk is much more demanding than XCOM 2 is. XCOM 2 doesn't care so much. World of Warships doesn't care so much. It doesn't hit 100% all the time. It hits 100% enough. And here's the other thing. I have no room to add anything. I have no future with it. No. There's no... I want my computer. I am the kind of person who, see, once you've really used good stuff, it's really hard to go back to mediocre stuff. And because I test with all the stuff, eventually, I mean, I've played with everything on Ryzen 9 5950Xs, and it's like, okay, this is amazing. And then you go back to your i9 at home and go, this is less amazing. I want to be able to open any program. At, I want to be able to open Chrome and open tabs and not have to go, ooh, I better close these tabs. Or, ooh, I better stop my, my OneDrive sync and G Drive sync. And ooh, oh I, better, I better pause my online backup with Backblaze. I don't want to do that. My computer serves me. I don't wait for my computer. It waits for me. That costs money. Obviously, having a nice machine that can do all that is an expense. We have a tech YouTube channel. It's part of what we do. So I make no argument that that is a typical use case. But I don't think it's completely ridiculous either. Mr. Lance. Does that answer your question, Chad? Hope so. Hopefully. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. 
We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.